Hey man, look, this um video here, man. This this is crazy as hell, man. This this case here, man, um, is fucking. I mean, they ought to give every goddamn body reparations. Every every African American ought to get reparations, man. For just what just this one goddamn case right here that happened, uh, August 29th, uh, two thousand and fourteen, man. Dude, uh, Lennon Lacey, 17 years old, man, playing high school football, love high school football, workout freak, workout addict, man, I mean, you can just tell that, I mean, he worked out all the time, played linebacker for Bladen, uh, Bladensboro, in Bladensboro, North Carolina, man, and he was really into wanting to get to college, wanting to, you know, whether small, division one, two, three, it doesn't matter, you know, he's going to play football, get him education, <coughs> The weed is fire. Damn! The weed is fucking fire, man. I got a friend of mine. Matter of fact, I can't say what he got there. I might, I might say something about him, but anyway. Maybe one day. But look, man. When they finally do make it legal here, <coughs> which they push it, he's ready, man. He's got three strands. <coughs> Small little operation that can take off real quick. <coughs> you know, it's going to be a window opportunity to just for a second, you know what I'm saying? Some people, I know some people are more ready, but, uh, you know, because his money and shit, the way his money is, but hey, he's, he's, if he gets in that window, and I mean, he can get hundreds of thousands of dollars, like, man, he can make, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, man, shit. You know, other people might make more because they got a bigger operation. But he's got three nice strands, dude. He be giving me all three. Yeah, he didn't miss my shit, though. That's how I like my shit. Fire! God damn! This a motherfucking fire, dog. Damn, I'm so motherfucking high. I just got shit. I mean, I'm smoking this shit all the day. Well, not all day. But I feel like I'm going to come out all the day. So check it out. Lennon Lacey, 17. Football player. Good football player, man. Good student and everything, man, right? Uh, the matter of fact, the morning they found him, man, was um, the morning of the 29th of August, right, 2014. Had a big game. A big, not just a game. They said they had a big game coming up that night. Coming, uh, yeah, coming up that evening and shit. He was excited about it. But now, uh, one thing that they're going to run with, uh, one thing that the, uh, the fucking, oh, they did an FBI investigation on this shit, man. They said, hey, man, we can't find shit. They, they, and you know what? What was the family supposed, uh, the family supposed to say? Miss uh, Claudia, I think it was Claudia. Yeah, Claudia Lennon. I think her name was Claudia Lennon. Anyway, and, and I think the other one was the head stepfather. Uh, head stepfather. Oh, no, 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 no. The real father. Yeah, he was in his life too. They just hadn't been married now. His last name was Walton. Anyway, they said that, you know, they felt like the FBI had done, they, they, were, they, they were thankful, they were happy because a lot of times it don't even happen. That the FBI had um, done a thorough investigation, to the best of their ability, had done a, a decent investigation and came with the ruling that, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, there is no foul play, you know, um, the dude, the dude, must, the dude, you know, okay. it's just nothing else it could be. Now, when I start telling you about the goddamn case and the facts and, 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 and what they know, okay, check it. He was found in the trailer park, right down the road from his house. The trailer park that he never fucked with. He never fucked with this trailer park. You know why he never fucked with this trailer park? Because it was a goddamn redneck trailer park. No black people, no Mexicans. All white. They didn't say redneck. They didn't say none of that shit. I personally don't really know for a fact that I, what I'm saying is true. But I just about, I go riverboat gamble on this motherfucker. I'm all in. That is a redneck trailer park. Bladensburg. Hey, look. They also, man, the week before, I think his death, or maybe maybe a, a 10 days before his death, something like that, they had a huge fucking motherfucking KKK rally down there, I mean, a fucking huge one, man, yeah, um, either in Blaisboro or right around Bla right around that area, right, yeah, man, but um, the kid, man, was all about, you know, his sports and shit, and all about his, he, he, he ate, man, his mom said he ate and, I say, he would eat and sleep football, so he did eat and sleep, and, and one more thing he liked to eat, but I doubt he liked to eat it, but I bet he would turn that motherfucking thing up, man. Check it. Right across the street. Maybe not right across the street, but right, boop, 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 right within the vicinity of where um, my man, my man, um, Mr. Lacey, Mr. Lacey or young man Lacey, uh, my homeboy, my young homeboy Lacey, man. Yeah. 
football player, I got a little sports too, man. And that was a workout for me. I was just watching. He was a little undersized for his position, linebacker 5'9". But, you know, he motherfucker loved it, though. Anyway, um, so Mr. Lacey is in a all-white trailer park, hanging by a swing set. He's 5'9", 200 and some change. Hey, the dude was thick, dog. The dude was fucking thick, man. I bet, I bet, I bet that motherfucker bring the wood too, man. But anyway, yeah, hey, <laughs> because I was just talking about the girlfriend, the white girl, thirty-one years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, thirty-one years old. And you know, uh, it's one thing for them one young little girls. I know you know that, but you know this, this, um, you know she pretty much, uh, hey, uh, hey, honey, um, I don't want to be with you no more. Shoop. And here comes my man. And his mother knew about it, but hey, man, the, the age for consent in uh, North Carolina is 16. So if the kid don't want to do shit about it and the mother's trying to do something and he's over 16, just the same thing with a female. Ain't much they can do, man. So, you know, she just kind of, you know how you know, black mamas are. If it had been a white mama and, and, and a whole different situation and it had been a black woman, then they'd have kicked the goddamn kid out. Let's get the fuck out of here. It could Hey, it could have been with a white woman or any, any woman in a white person's house. The mama said, get the fuck out of here. Kick this, kick this fucking ass out if you if you don't go down there right now and motherfucking uh, t press charges. We're going to turn our backs on you forever and ever and ever. That's what would have happened if it had been a goddamn white mama or a white family. Now, I'm going to say nine times out of ten. Hey, okay, we'll say uh, what, what, what wins? Uh, majority vote? All day. All day. Two-thirds vote. Smash that motherfucker. We're getting that shit in. Yeah, I guarantee it, dog. I can't fucking see it. But black families? Check it out. Nah, man. Because really and truly, man, he's still doing his thing. He said, white family would kick this fucking ass out. And he goddamn it, hey, they'd have made him. Because, you know, he's still trying to do his football. Hey, man, much, much love and respect to you, Queen. Miss, Miss Claudia motherfucking, uh, <laughs> Miss Claudia Lyons. Yeah. Somebody had that. Lacey, I'm sorry. Fucking Lyons, man. Because y'all Lyons, dog. Y'all kings of the goddamn jungle, dog. I mean, when, I mean I'm talking about when it comes to moms and the kings of the jungle. Because y'all know how to love. Because that's what it's about. You know, I know you're going to kick yourself in the ass probably but because he's dead now. But you did the right thing, man. Anyway, because he was still doing it. Hey, man, everything's going good, right? They find him hanging. They don't make no damn sense. They quick to the motherfucking suicide shit. Check it. Now, NAACP, NAACP comes in with their own investigation. Which, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And all they can do, all they can do is turn to the, to the feds and say, hey, you know, can you, um, you know what I mean? This is what we found. And all the feds got to say, oh, it ain't, ain't enough of it. Just, I mean, it ain't what you, it ain't what you, it ain't what you know. It's what you can prove. Well, then it should be a goddamn open case. It should be a fucking suicide then. It should be a fucking suicide. It should not be the goddamn ruling. Suicide's still ruling though, though. It's a suicide, man. Fuck. Now, he was sorry. They said it was a belt. In the initial report, it was, he was hanging by his belt, right? But, actually, it was a dog collar tied to another little dog collar. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not very, very, not the shortest of ones, you know what I'm saying? I think like a little dog leash type collar. Yeah, more like, you know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, a couple of them, man. And that's what he hung himself with. 200 something pounds. Now, check it. He was 5'9". The fucking swing set was like seven, seven and a half. He had to climb out of nothing, nothing under him, dude. Not like a chair where he got a chair and climbed up there and was able to, to get to that spot. To jump, tie himself. To get to that spot is what he had to do. Or climb up the poker, all that energy. Hell, he might have, you wouldn't have found him. Look, if he'd have done it that way, I'd bring you in, 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 in the middle of the night, no lights. Okay? Do you know what it looked like? They'd have found him that morning, all right? But he'd be dead where he goddamn fell and fucking broke his goddamn neck. Because he probably went up around the side of him. Yeah. Trying to tie the shit. Yeah. That's how they found him. But anyway. Uh, oh, my God. I'm disgusted with this motherfucker here, dog. My God. I'm disgusted. Mm -mm. Hey, I'm so fucking mad, man. Listen, man. Anybody listen. Air Jordans. Jordans. I remember when Jordans came out, dog. In a, I think it was 86, maybe 85, 86. Yeah, I remember Jordans came out, man. We poured in a motherfucker, dude. 
hey man, to get a pair of Jordans, I was putting money together, money together, money together. Dad said, if you could just, so Dad was like, oh, hey, yeah, Dad had all he wanted. Dad had a pair of boots, goddamn 150 goddamn, not cowboy boots. <laughs> I'm, I'm kicking some goddamn, man, I'm, I'm glad, goddamn it, they quit making cookers, man. No, I'm kicking around on some just goddamn um, regular nights, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, about, the one's about $10 more than the most expensive cougars. What's up, dog? Anybody know about them cougars? They know what's up, man. But, uh, got that. But fake Nikes, dog. Love it. Anyway, uh, that's what most of the time we're behind. I got, I can't have high school. So, man, look. I didn't eat lunch, dude. Lunch money, man. Cause see, dad, we could have got, man, I could have got two free lunches. We took out there, boy. But dad was like, I ain't going there. He ain't fucking that shit, man. He ain't going to do all that shit. He ain't going to do it. So, but anyway, man, lunch money shit. I saved my goddamn lunch money, dog. I wouldn't even eat lunch, dude. I'm getting me a pair of these motherfucking Jordans, man. You know what I'm saying? Going to have me a pair of these motherfuckers, man. You know, and, um. And got them, dude, pretty good. And then I just did it. a lot of little shit I did, man, trying to help my, I don't know, look, I was in jobs, anything I could do, man, boom, 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 because I knew they were coming. I got me a pair. Okay, then. Um, he's my hero. I'm Caucasian, right? A lot of black kids at that time coming up, man, hey, man, want to be like Mike, dude. Okay. George was everything. They're even bigger now. They're even bigger now. Because a lot of people said we were stupid. The few of us that did get them, I got them. I was the only one in my school with them motherfuckers, man. First woman, because they were high dollar. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. And I must have been twice these won't get them anyway. You know? But, uh, yeah, man. So they, they're even bigger now. He just got a brand new pair. Because Mama bought them. Miss Claudia? Hey, man. Miss Claudia made sure he had some, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of the probably what he he'd be doing with the team, how the team was doing, how he was playing, how he was doing school, and, and how he had not fucked up like he said he wouldn't, though, even though he'd been with that white girl for a minute. You know what I mean? And mama's words start with like, he ain't gonna be fight, she ain't going, she's gonna have this. And I don't know why she's with him, but man, you know, he's got bad intentions, pull him away from, but no, it didn't. You know, so she got them, probably got him some Jordans and shit, right? All right, man, uh, when they found the body, you know what he was wearing? Anybody know about black dudes? He had a little swag with him, you know what I'm saying? And mama gonna look out like that. He got it, and he and he's got a goddamn woman. He's hitting 31 years old, man. You know what I'm saying? Mama and her probably with hats on him, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, good that they did, man. That's what's up. But anyway, uh, they were gone. He was with a dusty ass pair of goddamn old school white Air Force goddamn ones, man. Word, word, and they know it. The motherfuckers know it. So the fact that the fans like, oh, well, we don't believe that. Well, you might need to believe it because check this, it gets better, dog. It gets better. Kid had a huge ass foot. He's growing. He, you know what I'm saying? Big kid, right? He wore a size 13 and a half, I think it was. 13 and a half. All right, man. Maybe 13 and a half. Maybe 14, 13. I'm going to say 13. I'm going to be 13. Whatever it is, man, I know the difference in the difference, man, um, in, the, in, the, in the size of the foot. Whatever it was. So whatever I do, do that ratio. Okay, about a size, about a size and a half to two sizes. Dang, going too dang, going big. Okay, the ones on his feet were too damn small. They weren't even tired when they got them to them. But they didn't mention that the first time. When, they, when, when the FBI did their investigation, they didn't really know all about that. This is the NAACP doing this shit. Okay? And this come talking to the parents and... and, and Got receipts for the fucking Jordans, motherfucker, in the goddamn box still at home. Can't find a goddamn, and made them dusty ass goddamn fucking Air Force One here. Ain't no young kid, I know, dog. I know this for a fucking fact. Just got some fucking Jordans. Young, really ain't got a whole lot. Working his ass off. Ain't taking them off his goddamn feet and sleeping in them, motherfucker. How about that? Can we change them out for what? Hey, man. Uh, they ain't gonna catch me hanging myself in my Jordans. He didn't get Jordan that much. <laughs> but can't get no respect to the motherfuckers that been hanging in the motherfuckers ever since goddamn it we goddamn it motherfucking drugged them the fuck over here, man. I guess the goddamn wheel, motherfucker, because they were jumping off goddamn motherfucking boats, man. But that goddamn kids man says to fuck that shit. Some of them just like that. No, I can't do it dog. Cause I know it's gonna get I know it's look at this. It's got it ain't gonna get no better. This is the good part. They had, they had to keep us in control, trying to keep us. And then, fuck, this guy, this gets worse, got to. 
they jump. Sharks see them. Then other people want to jump. Once they see motherfuckers get eat with the sharks like they were getting eat, it was harder to jump. You feel me? They jump thinking they're going to drown, right? Now nah, you're going to eat with sharks, motherfucker, and fight for your life. Because when you get that, you're going to fight back. You know that? Some of the others going to say, so that's, you know, faggot ass motherfuckers. Man, back to my shit, dude. Yeah, man, they found him like that, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Check it. So they go to the girlfriend, man. And uh, talk to her and shit, man. And she's like, um, because we're not having any problems. What's what's going on there? And and, and what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Miss um, Cougar? Say, Miss Cougar. And you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with it, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hey, because it, you know what I mean? It's a shame, man. Um, I know that she said that, um, there's no way in goddamn hell that kid killed himself. And she didn't say kid. She said, ain't no way my motherfucking motherfucker, ain't no way my baby killed himself. Ain't no goddamn way. I'm spoiling the fuck out of it, man. Okay. But have you um, any, any pressures from the, you know, because this is goddamn... This this is what Josh County used to be, I ain't bad no more. God damn, this is a clan. This is mountain mountains, man. Up around the mountains, it's clan, man. Man, country like a motherfucker. Like I just told you, man, they had a big shit going on the week before and I check it. No though, they hadn't been. Because they don't do it like that no more. They don't run up and burn goddamn crosses in your yard and throw goddamn rocks through your goddamn windows and shit like that right there. They don't have to. Cause then the motherfuckers gonna prosecute your ass when you're in there anyway. You just do it. When you sit back, you used to do that shit. You know what I mean? You used to do that shit. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck man. I'm I'm uh, I like I'm high as hell, man. And I mean, you know, I'm like this is like and I'm sp playing, man, I'm on weed, dude. I'm just goddamn angry, man. I ain't never I ain't never seen, I ain't never wanted to fight nobody when I was high on weed and shit, man. Or kill nobody. That's how bad it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've always said, man, hey, they just run two motherfuckers here a couple of weeks, they ain't fighting no more. They try, <laughs> they can't even talk, they pass the fuck out and talk about shit more than that, Nine times out of ten. So, for me to be on the weed right now, like, I know, and talk, and like, man, listen, man. Um, that's, this is crazy, dude. Okay, man. It gets better, man. She's living there, right? And still living across from them, right? She gets the fuck on out of there, man. You know why? Because the goddamn mom and the family, the black family, you know, you know, they, if she hadn't been with you, if he had, I mean, if he hadn't been with you and you're 31, you should have left, he might have been with another white girl, though, a, a, a young one. See, you uh, So she moves, man. She moves. You would think she, that's why she got the fuck out of there, dude. Because you know that's like man, that's the, because they love that kid and what happened and shit. So the fucking people, right? So people went okay. The, the, um, the newspaper and shit, right? Uh, maybe not. Somebody that was writing or had seen the story before, some bullshit. Did a follow up, right? And went and talked to her. I guess she made contact. And she wanted to talk. When she got away from them black people, you know, woo, woo, wee, boy, goddamn, because you know they were blaming her ass like a motherfucker, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. She was going to tell what really went down. You know what she said? She said we were threatened the goddamn motherfucking that many goddamn times, but not them, her, straight to her goddamn face, not him. And she's so goddamn scared to even say that half the time, anybody let them know. Just like they used to fucking do me, motherfucker. Just like it, dog. The little, the, the little shit. Like, they come in with my bed, right? catch me walking up. I'm throw beer about like beer cans and shit at me sometimes and shit, man. You piece of punk bitch motherfuckers, dog. Never say any word. Nah, fuck that. Not with that. Not, not long as I'm out there. Because these legs might can keep you from getting your ass whooped later on. So, you know, call me a nigga love, love that's what you did. And, you know. You know, I, but I just was kind of like, down there some fucking stupid guys, you know. I mean, what they're saying is that um, y'all are the N-word, and I love y'all. 
And uh, if that's the word they want to use to describe y'all, because they're so ignorant they don't know y'all, then I guess I am. I guess I am. Thanks, man. Thanks for noticing that I, that I love. <laughs> you can get that love, too. But you stupid motherfucker. They bullied that girl, man. They bullied that woman. They bullied that woman. They bullied that woman. And that woman stood strong. The family was supportive. They were going to do it. And you know what they did? They did exactly what they told that woman they were going to do to that kid. But she didn't talk about it a whole lot. All she did say, well, you didn't get names or nothing. Maybe, I doubt it, I don't know. But if she was that goddamn scared while there, I'd say she, but she didn't really go in all that detail. I don't blame her. You know, one death's bad enough, dude. It's a goddamn shame that these got 